And just for good measure, barrels. Okay. Spear, the destroyer of barrels. Yeah. Now, might do another jump cut here, because I'm sorry, I just two Estes flasks. If I got that guy up there, I'd rather, you know. Actually, if you're gonna do if you're gonna do something there, then I recommend taking that elevator. Oh, I spoiled it. Oh, there's a guy there. I didn't realize it was another one. Oh, huh. You must have aggroed the guy who was on the walkway, like, that the path led back to. Interesting. Because that's the only Balder Knight that I could think of that would have chased you from this part. Okay, well, I got him. Anyway, as I was saying, I if you want to just go, if you want to go back to a bonfire here, then try taking the uh, ste like the doorway that was over by the stairs. Okay. Trust me, this will make even more sense when you do it. Shield is up because I don't trust technology. <laughs> Generally, a safe thing to do. Much like many games, Elevator, which way is it coming out? It's coming out over here. Or it wasn't. I saw it's... stuff. Yeah, it is. Oh. And this is the ruins? This is, uh... Burn. A lovely place. Hey, Firelink Shrine. Eminent yep. Hidden Path. Upstairs and downstairs. Downstairs. Okay. Oh. Yep. There's a dude down here. He's, he's always been here. What is up? Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have this is a dude who will teach I... you miracles. If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Hmm. I was curious when one of these guys had come up. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we return... He's basically, if you want to use faith magic you and you didn't start as the monk, yeah. uh, no, go you ahead. can start, you basically talk with him, and he also gives you the covenant that monk and knight start with, if you want it. He gave me a copper coin. If you talk to him, he's he's kind of dismissive, too. Yeah, it's because my, uh, my faith isn't high enough, I believe. Oh my. It might you be. I think if you talk to him three oh, times, he usually How about will initiate this? you. I have to await my companion. I think your faith does have to be. So what if I, high, I actually I don't think your faith has to be high enough. Would that please you? Yes, I certainly believe in miracles. Very well. Let me convert you to my church. Mr. Zombie. <laughs> with the gods. Join the I, There's nothing really bad about joining the covenant. You can always join another covenant. You weren't in a covenant if you if that's what you were wondering. Now let me share my miracles. Only have you now ever you're in let, let me ask you this, soulless one. Have you ever considered your role in the afterlife? <laughs> you ever read a book called the Bible? Let me let, let, let me give you this pamphlet just to read here. And let me talk at your doorstep for about twenty minutes while you're trying to awkwardly end the conversation. Let me see. Purchase item. I'd, I'd probably what talk pamphlets? to the uh, Jehovah's Witness more if he was carrying a giant mace like that. Yes. Oh, so he's got an excerpt of Great Heel. So it's not. It's if it's an excerpt of Great Heel, it is just an okay heel because it's just a little bit of an excerpt. It's not the whole thing. No, no, definitely not. Ah, uh, that's strange. They've got uses beside them. So these are one-time things, supposed to spells you learn. Actually, they are spells, and spells on the, in this game work on a use system. Oh. Oh. Oh, and by the way, the talisman is the item through which you cast miracles. Yeah, it's kind of like the uh, magic wand in the last one. <clears throat> Probably. Well, if I don't have anything, and there's no sense in burning my thousand souls for now. Mm-hmm. It's also, you need a certain amount of faith to use any of the spells, and that's the requirement that's listed, like, when you, uh, check them. Oh, good, he gives you the shrug. I'm glad. Yes. Come again. How do I the use these? Of the teachings uh, the select button? That's what I tried. Okay, yeah, he was... 
Oh, I have to... You can shake the controller, you can also pick which ones happen when you use the motion thing, assuming that you have that, but if not, you just press X and you can do any of them. Yes, that's that, that, that'll... I like that one. There, there are some pretty good ones. <laughs> and... Let me see. One more, I guess. <laughs> the gesture thing is great for nice. co-op, because that's the only way that you can actually communicate with I people. I will celebrate by urns, urns. <laughs> ah. Relics of years gone past. Indeed. One of them probably held someone's cremated ashes, but it's all good. And now it's all over me. Yup. Oh, Undead oh. repellent. Which has some unfortunate consequences for you. I never did really look around these ruins. There's not much of anything for now. Well, there's a bunch of items. There's a bunch of other paths. If you really want to, it's perfectly fine. You misled me. Well, I took you back to the bonfire, and I also figured you should probably talk to Anastasia. Anastasia? She's the dead. girl who doesn't talk. Oh, her. She's not dead, she just oh, doesn't she's have got, a tongue. Oh, she's got a name. Yes. Eminent Head. <laughs> yep. Actually. Yep. Before I do much in the way of exploring anything... Yeah, I guess a bonfire probably would be a good idea. Yeah... I don't And trust wanna... me, you, you want to talk to her first. Ah, ten flasks. Thank yep. you, Kendall Bonfire. Also a bonus. Creeper, how you been? <laughs> ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. It's not very nice of him. Jerk. Nah. Hey, lady. <laughs> so, should we... Yes, really? you should. This is what you use Firekeeper Souls for. This is why you shouldn't use them normally, because I believe when you use it as an item, it just gives you five humanity, which is nowhere near as good as this. And it makes them more healy? Yes. Hey, she gave me a humanity point as well. Uh, you already had that. Oh, did I? <laughs> You can sometimes get humanity from killing enemies in an area where you haven't killed the boss yet. So whenever you're in a new area and you just look over at your bar and suddenly you have a humanity, that's because that happened. It's already happened a few times in the adventure, but you had to Yeah, quite but noticed. I die and... And that, generally that's what happens to humanity like that. But yes, if you want to explore the area, there actually are a whole bunch of items around here. I see an open chest, and I'm hesitant. <laughs> eh, there's nothing that'll hurt you right here. But there's something somewhere. Eventually, not in this room. Hey, stairway. That's nice. Whoa, what? I mean, he's just chilling there. He won't hurt you. What if I were to shoot him with an arrow? I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. He'll be kind of useful in the future. Why? Oh. There's something up there. Hey, lady. Statue with the baby. How quaint. <laughs> Urn. Surprise that chest's open. Yeah I'm I am curious. Let me see what's going to kill me up here. <laughs> Cause you know, I've got a point of humanity, may as well lose it, I figure. We can't, mm -hmm. we can't have me getting getting a leg up on things. I mean I just get overconfident. Exactly. Well that's kind of what this game banks on. You getting overconfident. Uh. Graveyard with glowies. Ooh, the graveyard. See, I was debating taking you here earlier, but I figure it's more fun if you discover it on your on your own. Oh. 
What if I told you I was not in a mood for self-discovery? You are just no fun, sir. Hmm. I am very hesitant. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of dead people there. What what could be the worst that had happened? Everything that's attacked me so far is a dead person. <laughs> there's a lot wrong with it. Bird, why can't you help me? Because he has, like, a nest and things to tend to. Wait a second. Guy, what were you fighting? What were you fighting? <laughs> you may never know. I'm guessing he kited his buddies from the graveyard up here. Uh, yeah, that's probably the answer. <laughs> but there's another potential answer. Let us see what that other answer is. Uh, let's... to speed things up, the graveyard's the only place around here that actually has anything dangerous in it. I was expecting a black knight to pop out of a window and be like, Hello, neighbor! <laughs> this isn't Resident Evil. It's not, it's not gonna be a jump scare. Uh, there's a... There's another thing over here. There's lots of things all over. If you actually head back towards the elevator that goes to the parish and uh, up the stairs after that, you'll probably find a few more items. Up the first There's also something that's kind of out on the edge, but that often leads to falling down, so... The item's up the stairs. Uh, that's right. Probably the last, pla the last bunch of items. Uh, a wedge. I should really use those at some point, maybe, but, well. Eh, it's the kind of thing you grab a bunch of them, put them all together, like, near a bat, like, use them all near a blacksmith or something like that, and then buy a bunch of items, do smithing, level yourself up. Wow. Oh, also, go into the door that doesn't have the elevator. I swear to God, I'm not trying to kill you. I, uh, oh. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not trying to kill you. Oh, God. Because I thought that would have been instant death. <laughs> I was kind of like, ooh, that's a it, bad thing. Because I almost ran it. into that one. I see chest. There I are like chest. four chests, I think. Any goons? Yeah, this is a nice here? area to find at the start of the game. Any goons? I just... Like I said, the only goons here are in the graveyard, I swear. Well, and the one that you're controlling, but... Pillage. Cracked Red Eye Orb. That is a special upgrade thing, I'm thinking. Next That's time. actually like a covenant item for one of the covenants that you probably won't get in. Morningstar, Talisman. Way too cool for you. Homeward Bone. The Morningstar is the, uh, as I think, the starting weapon of the... Uh, no, it's a mace, so... It looks kind of like a um, monk starting thing, especially with the talisman, but there you go. Now you didn't need to waste a thousand souls on it. Now I've got to sprint back up. Yup. Okay, graveyard, I'm just passing through. Don't mind me. Okay. I'm getting, getting some uh, Harryhausen movie flashbacks here. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like got... you couldn't get away from the graveyard anyway. They've got an effect. It's, I think bleed, but I'm not 100% sure. Might just be poison. Boy. Whoa. I was about to say I did pretty well walking backwards, then that happened. Yep. Skeletons are one of the first annoying enemies because they actually resist, like, they have a resistance to, like, thrust damage and stuff like that, so, slash damage and thrust damage, so you're not going to be doing much with your regular old, uh, spear. Other than that, they're not really too bad, though. At least not these guys. Ooh. I'm just making my trek back a little bit easier. Yep. You're pretty much right next to the bonfire right now, so... 
If you can manage to rest at it, they would go away. But it's more fun watching you try to beat them. Interesting. It's backing away from bonfire. Very nice. I think you might have just gotten away from gotten to out of his like zone of aggro. No. He ran away from the bonfire. Alright then. Oof. Oh, also, what just happened there was that if there are enemies close, sometimes a bonfire will, like, go out temporarily. Uh, I was wondering why I couldn't use it. Yeah. There are other reasons you might not be able to use one, but that'll tend to happen if you've got a bunch of enemies rushing back after you. Anyway, we can go back and make friends with the uh, guy on the second floor now if you want. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> He's a fancy gentleman. He's got a loft apartment. Mm-hmm. He has. He's very well dressed. Mm-hmm. Very much so. In those so. robes. Where's a dress? Yeah, you know, he's he's comfortable in uh, his appearance. Uh, and that roof I keep passing by. I'm kind of curious about that. You totally can. Yes. Worth doing. Maybe later. Okay. So I'm guessing it'll probably say, "Well, you got to go back to the graveyard now." Okay. Hey, buddy. I know you. I do think that that little thing over there, like, that, that the fact that you can walk off of the elevator onto an area that you can't get to otherwise is, a re is one of the really nice touches about Dark Souls. You're pretty much just encouraged to explore in any way you can. There really aren't any invisible walls. There we go. Wow. I told you I like the spear. I kind of like the fact that he was just stabbing right above your head. He was. Gonna get you. Uh, uh. Tactical advantage. Mm-hmm. Speaking of tactics, boy, having a spear is really paying off in these narrow walkways. Yeah, I'm gonna think that it'll pay off pretty decently right now, too. It's kind of dark. Okay, I think I've got friends coming. I think I saw one through... Darkness is really this game's M.O. Yeah, I'm also kind of in a bright room, so it's kind of a double win. Okay, there he is. He's blasting. That's okay. what he tends to do. But first, he actually buffed up some of his buddies. Um, which is also what he tends to do. So he's got cohorts. Let me see mm -hmm. here. Okay, he's got some scabs there. Yep. Although some might be a bit of a kind way of putting it. Whoa. <laughs> I don't actually know what this guy buffs, but he clearly does some... Like, he, he clearly ups their stats in some way. And there's like ten of them. Okay, it's trying to lock me onto the Balder thing. Okay. So. Hey, buddy. Man, that went so much better than it does for most people. Well. That's that. Yeah, he isn't nearly as uh, exciting as you'd think. I think he's still alive? Yeah, he, he is, actually. Oh. I do not see. Where'd you come from? <laughs> That was weird. I guess head back he, down? He must have fallen off too, actually. Actually, wait. If he's down there, then I've got to kill him. Hmm. I don't know if he's in the right position, and you're definitely going to aggro uh, all three of those Balder Knights if you do that. He's coming. Hey, he's, he's got one of those little candlestick things. <laughs> As a staff. <clears throat> well, let me go down there and greet him. Mm-hmm. Say that you love what he's done with the place? Yes. It's very feng shui. The, uh, the broken altar, the, the broken pews and stuff really, uh, tie the place together. They do. And the body on the stairs? Oof. Perfection. Cover! I like how he just, like, smacked in you with that trident thing. Spells are no match for my pillars. Yes. For the record, he is doing magical damage, yeah. so 
your I'm shield will block some percentage on of it. His corpse. <laughs> so here, what your shield will block some percentage of it based on the shield itself. It's probably one of the first times in the game that you're having damage other than physical done to you, so it's worth mentioning. 